Yeah, good morning. My name is Francis Yan. I'm a senior research scientist in poultry nutrition at Harris Novus International. I just had an oral presentation on impact of dietary phosphorus and calcium level on efficacy of phytase in improving phosphorus and calcium digestibility in brawlers. So as you know, with the adoption of digestible phosphorus in, in swine, there's a really push in poultry community to also switch from current non-fatty phosphorus pro approach to some sort of digestibility, digestible approach. But while we're doing research in this, uh, we encountered a lot of challenges. A lot of this research, including ours, uh, primarily working on uh, individual ingredients. So the trial is a little bit different. I present here is on actually complete diets. So by doing this, uh, we were able to successfully estimate the phosphate digestibility for corn soybean meal blend and for dicalcium phosphate. So in summary, we estimated the phosphate digestibility for corn soy blend was 34% in the absence of phytase. When with phytase, it can be increased to somewhere around 44 to 55%, that depending on dietary calcium and phosphate level. And we noticed the phytase efficacy can be improved by a marginal calcium level. Also the phosphorus of dical, we estimate to be 81%. So by doing this type of research, we are trying to optimize the conditions for phytase to work and to, to achieve more precise phosphorus feeding. By doing this, we are helping producers not only to reduce cost of production, but also reduce environmental pollution by reducing phosphorus excretion.